is Andrea from Social Sites, and today I'm going to show you how to navigate the menu. So the first thing you're going to do is log into your editor. You're going to go to the top right corner where these three bars are, and you're going to go ahead and click on it. And we're just going to go down this list and get you familiar with your editor. The first thing you're going to click on is account, and this is where you're going to update your password. Next, we'll go to Publish Settings, and this is where you'll request to go live. So if you want to use a custom domain, you're going to go ahead and request to go live. Or you can go ahead and copy this link and use this website URL as you wish. And then you can click on Link in Bio. So if you go to Link in Bio, this is a really fun piece. So most of you are familiar with Lincoln Bios. We have our own social tap, and a lot of people use Lincoln Bios inside of their social media platforms as their link. And what it does is it allows you to have links instead of your website so that people can find things a lot quicker. Okay? So if you go to here, this would be your desktop version, which is really exciting because you get the full desktop version. And then you can also choose to have the link in bio layout for your mobile. And since I'm doing a tutorial on the desktop, you're just going to click yes. And then you can also choose this. And you can look on the mobile and see, do I want a link in bio layout or do I want the website layout um, to be on my mobile? Okay. So you have different options there. And... Next, you'll go to Cart Settings. And Cart Settings is the section that you must set up if you're going to sell images. So you can sell images in your galleries, and you can also sell images in your client proofing section or your password protected sections. So if you're going to sell images, you're going to want to set up this. And we have a tutorial on our YouTube channel for Cart Settings. And then once you set up your cart settings, once uh, someone buys something, these sections will populate. Manage payments, sales, and purchasers, these all are part of cart settings. So if you're not selling any images, you can just ignore these four sections. Next, you have SEO. And this is a very important section that I see a lot of people leave blank. This is how you get ranked in Google and how you can get ranked higher. So it's really important that you add your site title, your description, and your keywords. And if you want to um, make sure these are perfect keywords, it, it can be a little tricky to get the right keywords. Um, you can go on YouTube and look up how to you know, create your search engine meta tags. And then there's lots of people on there that can help you decide what keywords are perfect for your niche and to make sure your site title is right, your description, and make sure that they are um, working for you and not against you. Okay, but in the meantime, just go ahead and throw some of these up and click save. Next, you're going to go to favicon. And this is where you'll put your image. So you can put your logo, you can put an image of you, your restaurant, your construction company. You can put any kind of image here. And when you give someone your link, um, say in a text message or on a social media platform, when they um, see the link come in, it's going to have an image with your link. So that's really fun and personal, and I highly recommend that you add something here. And then you're going to go down to stat tracking. And you're going to go ahead and add your time zone. And then you're going to go ahead and right here you're going to see your overall site views. So as you get views, um, you're going to see the views and then the unique views. Total views is how many times someone refreshes your website. Unique views is how many people. So say there's 50 people that are unique. And your total views might be 100 because they've each looked at your website two times, okay? And so you're going to see some bar graphs here, and you're going to get some statistics. Now, that's just a small stat tracking um, 
piece that we have inside here. But you can also click on this, show third party. And I highly recommend that you add your Google Analytics. You can add your Facebook pixels, very important. And you can also add Stat Counter. I really like Stat Counter. I like how I can view all my stats for, you know, Social Tap and Social Sites. And so you want to add all these, and you just have more um, stat tracking. And then you can go back out, and the FT upload is FTP upload is just if you want to add some images and upload them, and use that as your uploader for FTP. Um, there's a section for that. And then you click on support, and this is where you can come and send us a support ticket. You can give us feedback. You can tell us what you hope to see in future websites. You can just say hello. You can ask us questions. We have a really quick turnaround in customer service. So if you do not hear from us in 12, 24 hours, please reach out to us again. Um, that's one thing we're known for at Social Sites is our very responsive support team. Okay, and and we never want you frustrated. So um, please reach out to us if you have any questions. And that is your menu. And so hopefully now you know how to know, navigate all of this. And then you have your sections and all the tutorials that are in the YouTube um, tutorial. And then right here is where you can go and see all the YouTube videos for this website, which is Aiden. And then you can also you know, click through there and you can find the tutorials for all the other websites. Okay, so that's really what you need to know about uh, your menu. And then right here is your previews. Anytime that you're working on your site in the editor, you can preview it on the phone, the tablet, and the desktop. And you can see the version that you're working on. And again, just go through and make sure all your buttons and your links work. And that's your menu. Okay, have a great day.